Hey guys, what's up? This is WRG Productions and welcome to my channel. This time we are going to be making a shine animation in After Effects and uh, using the Photoshop uh, for the designing and then going into After Effects for the animation purposes. It is going to be a shine animation as well as a sparkle. Uh, so stay tuned uh, for this video and uh, I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so after opening Photoshop, you just need to go over here in File, Select New, and you can write the name. Uh, I'm selecting a 1920 by 1080 pixel uh, background, and uh, with the 16-bit uh, color variation and uh, the resolution 1080. You can hit OK. Then, after this, you need to go over here in uh, press this icon over here to bring down this these options. Select gradient. After selecting gradient, you can uh, just click on this uh, and uh, I'm just going to double click and sele select black from over here. Hit OK. And I'm just going to hit this and change the opacity to 100. And uh, over here uh, we have this color uh, which is a light, light, dark golden. Uh, so you can copy this color code from over here uh, in your uh, own Photoshop. You can select OK. You will have these exact same effects if you copy the color code then you can select okay now after this i'm going to just place my text so i'm just going to click select new layer bring down my text and uh, just uh, write my text over here so if you want to know which font i'm using then it's the black chancery font and uh, the font size is 12 so you can download this very easily and for the color code uh, it's uh, you can copy this from over here. Uh, it's B58419. Now after this, I'm just going to select, click this, and select uh, Control T on my keyboard to bring down the field transform. It's going to position it in the center. Hit Enter, and uh, then I'm just going to create some effects uh, on this text. Uh, a, a nice golden or a bevel type effect uh, to make it give it a luxurious or gold type field so it's a very it looks very nice so you can see that after applying this bevel or emboss effect then uh, you have uh, this slide text slightly in 3d so you can see that they, this i've selected the inner bevel and smooth and the depth is 220 and the size is 25 so these are the main settings and uh, you can uh, you just keep these settings same make sure that this is the first uh, bevel type that you are selecting gloss contour then you can select ok now I'm just going to make a rectangle uh, by selecting a new layer pressing this uh, rectangle tool just to give some nice feeling to it um, then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this same um, style copy layer style by right clicking on the text layer copy layer style then i'm going to paste it on the rectangle paste layer style so i'm just going to decrease uh, slightly uh, change the color of this um, uh, rectangle so i'm just going to select this rectangle first of all i'm just going to select a new color from over here slightly golden light golden you can say then I'm going to click this and select this color from over here then I'm going to press ctrl T and position this properly over here and then I'm going to hit enter this is going to create our uh, design and then we are going to animate it in after effects so one more thing that I need to do is uh, I just want to just change the color of this uh, rectangle over here because I think uh, it needs to match the color for this. So I'm just going to double click this uh, rectangle layer, select my color overlay and then uh, press this button uh, over here. This is the color and I'm just going to paste a color code. So this is the color code uh, and you can just uh, go ahead and uh, copy this. I hit OK and uh, this color is now going to match this so uh, now we are going to animate this okay so now we have uh, just uh, come in after effects and 
uh, you just need to go over here in file uh, sorry composition select new composition and you can just name your composition I'm just uh, having this composition as 10 seconds but the animation is going to be less but it's just a safe limit uh, the frame rate is 30 and the uh, background is 1920 by 1080 pixels you can select OK and your new composition will be ready now you just need to go over here in this project tab select import file you can just select your file that uh, you have just saved you're going to hit ok and uh, now you just need to double click on this icon over here and your composition will be uh, transferred to this area over here so what I'm going to do now is uh, just select all three of these uh, select both of these layers which is our rectangle and our um, text I'm just going to select by holding down shift I'm going to right click and I'm going to select pre-compose select ok so this uh, we're going to just transfer our animation over here so you need to go over here in effects and presets and search for CC light sweep you can just go ahead and transfer this to your composition and you're going to have a light sweep uh, effect like this it's giving it a nice gold texture so I'm just going to go in this direction so I'm just going to uh, change the angle like this I think this angle is nice it's 40 39 degrees so I'm just uh, going to now increase the width I think 70 is fine and uh, you can uh, even change the type so uh, you are going to have a shine like this so I think this one is, looks good smooth this is the smooth type and I think this is uh, all that you need to do over here now you need to drag this picker and you need to drag it at the end so that no shine is visible after this you are going to just hit this center keyframe over here and then you are going to go at around 3 seconds and then you are going to drag this till the very end so I'm just going to end my composition at around 5 seconds uh, by pressing N over here now this, you can see that uh, this shine has been created over here and it looks really nice now one more thing that I need to add over here is uh, you can just go ahead and select U press U on uh, this uh, composition that you created and you can just go ahead and select both of these press F9 to easy ease or if your F9 key is not working you can just go ahead and right click select keyframe assistant and easy ease it's the same thing now the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, just going to add a little sparkle over here at the end of the animation and at the end of the rectangle so it's going to look like a tea sparkle and uh, um, what I'm going to do next is uh, just make sure that no none of your layers is uh, selected just uh, go over here and select this option which is the shape tool by clicking it uh, you can see this star tool you need to just click and press on this keep holding it and you will see these options over here you can select the star tool and uh, by clicking and dragging you can make this star so I'm just going to create, take the fill as uh, uh, this if you are not seeing this then uh, you can just press alt and you can change the fill like this but I'm just going to select this uh, fill and uh, white is good for the shine 
so it's going to look nice make sure that this stroke is zero so the next thing you want to do is uh, just go over here in your polystar option and uh, select this polystar path and you can select this uh, points as four so now we're going to edit this so then and next you need to just i'm just going to uh, adjust a bit of these settings to make the star look a bit more like a sparkle so adjusting the outer radius is going to decrease the size adjusting the inner radius is going to decrease this i think this is uh, turning out to be like a sparkle now and you can just go ahead and play around with these settings i think this one looks good uh, for this and you can just go ahead and copy these settings that i have over here uh, which is the inner radius is 15.6 and uh, the outer radius is, is uh, 224.2 you can just go ahead and copy these settings so i'm just going to select my layer the v tool and by holding down shift i'm going to decrease the size of this sparkle to place it over here at the end you can see that you can uh, just go ahead and drag this i'm going to decrease it a little more i think this looks good okay so after setting this uh, star over here or the shine sparkle over here uh, we now need to animate this so for animating you just need to open this shape layer that you have which is your sparkle layer and you need to select P on your keyboard to open position. Now uh, for this position, I'm just going to hit this uh, uh, stopwatch over here and make it blue. So I've already done that. So you can see that uh, at around this animation where you have uh, the shine ending at the very end, I've just uh, placed a position keyframe. Now I'm going to go back a little bit and uh, then i'm just going to go ahead and drag this star at around over here this one uh, would be good so uh, this is going to actually travel so it's not complete yet uh, but you can see that uh, it's now going to travel over here now we need to add a rotation as well so you can uh, select by uh, selecting this button over here you can just go jump to the keyframes uh, now uh, you need to open this contents polystar transform polystar and you need to select the uh, rotate this is the rotation over here so i'm just going to go ahead and keyframe this over here and i'm going to go back to my position which is over here this is going to jump to this one and then i'm going to give it a rotation of one so at this time we need the opacity at uh, a zero and i'm just going to keyframe it and uh, if we jump past it which is over here uh, on this keyframe then we need the opacity as 100 so i'm just going to show you what's what this is going to do so this is uh, going to just animate it like this so now uh, we need to end this uh, at uh, around over here we need to just uh, decrease the visibility of this star so now uh, uh, once we have this over here you can play and uh, you can see the animation and just go over here slightly where you have already animated and uh, you can change the opacity at zero so this is going to animate you can see that it's a nice uh, sparkle animation i'm just going to drag this over here a bit so this is uh, the animation and i'm just going to select all of these press f9 to easy ease them now this sparkle animation over here reminds me of a Colgate commercial where you have a guy who's staring out of a window 
and uh, there's a sparkle in his teeth but in reality your teeth are something like words more teeth so in order to export this file we just need to go over here in file and select export add to render queue so you need to click this uh, output module over here and select QuickTime from this menu over here or you can select AVI if you want a really heavy file format so but I'm selecting QuickTime because it's easier for me you can keep the setting similar select OK and you can select your output location press save then you're going to click this uh, render button okay so once your file has rendered out then it's going to look something like this and this is your aladdin themed shine animation with the sparkle so please give this video a thumbs up like this and uh, share this as much as you can uh, and please subscribe to my channel otherwise this uh, cute little kitten is going to come into your nightmares and it's going to ask you for milk and cookies so so it's better to subscribe uh, and i'll see you guys in the next videos thanks so much for watching